Once you've booked your family photo shoot, one of the first questions that may spring to your mind is what on earth are we all going to wear? Clothing can really change the impact of a photograph. And when you're investing in some gorgeous new photos of your family, then it's only natural you want to make sure that everyone is looking their best. So what you wear to have the greatest impact in a photo will really vary depending on where you're having your photographs taken. For example, whether it's outdoors, at home or in a studio. And in this video, I'm going to talk specifically about how you can choose great outfits for your family for an at-home photo shoot. And I hope that it gives you the confidence to choose outfits that really make your photograph shine. So when you're choosing outfits for your family's at-home photo shoot, the place where I suggest you start is with the decor of your home. Wherever you have your photographs taken, that place becomes the backdrop to your photographs. And so in an at-home photo shoot, your home is the backdrop to the photos. So when you're considering this, have a look around your home and the kind of colours that you've decorated with and the kind of colours of your furnishings. Now, if your house is decorated very neutrally, perhaps lots of pale sh shades of white, grey, cream, then you probably want to choose a fairly soft colour palette to complement it for your outfits. Equally, if your house is decorated with very bold or bright colours, then very soft colours like pastels won't really look good against it and you probably want to choose some brighter, bolder colours for your family's outfits. Once you've had a think about the decor at home, then the next step is to choose a small colour palette to base your family's outfits around. I usually suggest that families pick no more than three or four colours and that everyone's outfits are chosen from these colours. The reason for this is that keeping your colour palette nice and small can make sure that everyone looks nice and cohesive. And the goal here is to coordinate, not match. So it's not about having everyone wear every single colour, but it's about making sure that you keep it nice and tight so that everyone's outfits complement each other, no matter whether you've got a photograph of everyone together or smaller groups from your family. Once you've chosen your colour palette, the next step is to choose outfits for everyone to wear. Now, when you're having a photo shoot at home, I think it's really important to dress the way you would at home, but probably the smartest that you would dress at home. As you choose everyone's outfits, there are a few rules that I think it can be helpful to follow. First of all, avoid clothes that have got pictures or writing or big slogans on. There's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, they can be really distracting. And when people look at your photos, you want them to see the people not be trying to read or see what's on someone's t-shirt. The other reason is that you will lose the timeless feel that you most probably want in your photographs if there are things that can easily date it. So writing, words, pictures, that kind of thing can date your photos much more quickly. Now, the second thing that I'm always asked by families is about pattern and is pattern okay? And I think a little bit of pattern can work really well in your photographs. It can really add interest. Where pattern becomes a problem is if you've got lots of different patterns. So for example, if you're in a flowery blouse, your partner's in a checked shirt, and your children are in stripy tops, then suddenly it can all feel quite busy. But if just one or two people have some small patterns or perhaps some stripes, then it really can add interest to your photos and can work really well. So don't be afraid to embrace a little bit of pattern. And finally, think about what you're going to do with your feet. So for an outdoor or studio photo shoot, you'd probably have shoes on the whole time and it's very easy. But at home, it's not natural to wear shoes and it probably won't look natural in your photographs if you're wearing shoes too, unless that's something you normally do. So I suggest either going barefoot, which can look really lovely and natural, or if you do choose socks, make sure that they're not distracted. A bit like the clothes with writing or slogans or pictures, you don't want your socks to suddenly become the focal point of the photograph. So I'd stick to plain, neutral colours that won't stand out. So I really hope this video has helped you as you plan your family's outfits for your photo shoot. I'd really love to hear what outfits you chose for everyone. Do let me know, you can pop a message in the comments below or send me an email via my website.